Welcome to WDD's Hotspot. I'm Janine Mooney, Editorial Content Director, and in this week's episode, Transformable Hovering Rotorcraft, Cart Man Robot enters Amazon's tech competition, and the device that gives you x-ray vision. Conventional drones are excellent at hovering and vertical takeoff and landing, but can't cover long distances efficiently. A team of students from Singapore University of Technology and Design are trying to get the best of both worlds with the transformable hovering rotorcraft, also known as Thor. According to the team, the design of Thor improves on the basic monocopter design in a few new ways. The first involved a second wing that protrudes from the center of the UAV. The Thor's opposing wings are mounted at right angles to each other and rotate into alignment when making the transition from helicopter-style hover to fixed-wing-style cruising. The students have also created a passive system to shuffle weight around based on flight mode. It's just a prototype at the moment, but the Thor concept could be useful in a huge range of industrial environments, like agriculture, surveillance, and payload delivery. As part of the third annual Amazon Robotics Challenge, the Australian Center for Robotic Vision has entered the Cartman. This logistics robot will test its object picking skills against 15 other international designs. The winning team takes home a 250,000 grand prize. The Cartman uses an enhanced vision system to recognize certain items in a full container. The custom built robot was made from scratch using six degrees of articulation plus a claw and suction gripper. Together, this design aims to provide computer and machine vision to finish goals in a chaotic environment. The team poured 15,000 hours into the project, hoping to improve upon last year's sixth place achievement. Amazon focuses on fulfillment centers and currently relies on human workers to pick up and stow items away. Even though Amazon has mastered using robots to move items around, it hasn't perfected picking up and stowing items in an automated manner. Hopefully these innovative designs and the spirit of competition will uncover a few open source solutions. A device called the Wallbot has helped us take a huge step forward in regard to seeing in the X-ray spectrum, which is a 3D imaging scanner that helps us see in this frequency. The handheld device is roughly the same height and width as a smartphone, but is a little thicker. The handheld device attaches to your smartphone magnetically, which you plug in using a USB port. The Wallbot enables you to see through walls, objects, and materials. The Wallbot's parent technology, Veyer, was initially developed to screen for breast cancer with hopes of providing a more portable device than a mammogram machine while making it cheaper, easier, and safer for women to use. 3D imaging is created using radio frequency technology, essentially the same technique for Wi-Fi mobile networks and radar systems. Veyer is able to use radio frequency for seeing through solid objects while emitting a fraction of radiation as cell phones. Wallabot has antennas that emit signals along with sensors that pick up reflections. The Wallabot is currently compatible only with the Android and it draws its limited power requirements from the phone. Programmable sensors inside the device have to be configured for different tasks and it's possible to scan through walls and see exactly where pipes and wires are positioned using the device. The Wallbot can even be used for tasks like detecting the source of leaks because of its ability to pick up on movement. That's all for this week's episode. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes at wirelessdesignmag.com. For the WDD channel, I'm Mike Luciano. Thanks for watching.